Yes, it's a cooking show. This show is about more than just cooking. It's about sharing love, it's about taking care of yourself, it's about living in the moment, being present, using your senses, feeling things. And I love holidays. So when holidays come, I love the holidays and I love doing all of the holiday things. You know, all these things I'm incorporating into the show because it's a part of me and this is something I do every year. I try to carve a cool pumpkin or something that is meaningful for me. You'd think as a photographer I'd have a better record of some of these things, but I don't. I have, a couple years ago I did this New York Giants pumpkin. One of the first pumpkins I ever did that gave me the idea for this video is an Iron Man pumpkin. I'm a huge comic book fan, nerd if you will. Uh, so I printed out a template online for an Iron Man and it was really elaborate and awesome and all the kids that stopped by the house went crazy for it. It was really fun to just to do pumpkin designs that weren't in the package. When I ran Food Freaks, I did a pumpkin for with my logo in it. When I worked for some clients, I did a, a pumpkin for Tribe Hummus. I did a pumpkin for Bright Farms. And so now I just do pumpkin this time of year and uh, it's something I really enjoy. And I'm gonna show you how to carve a pumpkin based off of a design you like. In this case, I'm doing my logo. So if you have a cooking show or you have a business or a logo, or if you just wanna get crafty and design your own with your kids or whatever, I'm gonna show you how I do it every year. I hope you find it interesting. So what you're gonna need is a pumpkin. You want a nice big one, nicely shaped one. I like a little bit of character to the top, so I try to get whatever looks cool to me. You want a big, nice, smooth surface in the front. The back can be a little bit, back can be scratchy, that doesn't matter. You're gonna need a design. And so you can either do it on Photoshop. My logo is fairly simple, so I just put it into a Word doc. And the key is you want a block kind of font so you can easily carve it out. You're gonna need a bowl for all the, all the guts, a plastic bag and some tape to kind of cover up your workstation. If you're smart, you buy these things once and keep them. I don't, I don't even know what this could possibly be. I have like a, a drill. That, we're not gonna use this. These are useful though, so don't throw these out. Don't buy them every year, just save them. This is a kitchen tool that I find particularly helpful. It's like a vegetable peeler from the 80s. I haven't seen it in a while. It's got a sharp point and this sort of, uh, what's it called? There's a word for it, I can't think of it, but what it's good for is kind of shaving the inside of your carvings and smoothing them out, especially when you're doing curves. And it's just, it's nice to kind of uh, clear out small spaces by just shaving the inside. A fillet knife can be helpful. This guy bends, it's a bendable blade. Toothpicks are good, especially for things like A's and O's where you're cutting out a piece that's gonna kind of sit up. You can kind of prop it up with toothpicks. You're gonna need some tape to put the Pick your design to, and then of course a candle. So let's just get this table set up. You could also use newspapers. I don't, so I'm using what I have. First thing you need to do is you gotta cut open the top. And you have to remember that you need to create uh, a vent for the smoke to clear out. So you're gonna cut a circle with an indentation that you're gonna just cut out. So it's like a little chimney. And it's good to use the kind of thick serrated knife. Just sort of scrape the top out. You don't want any of the fuzz you get caught in the flame. You just want everything kind of nice and clean. So I got one of these scrapers. I just like to take my knife and just kind of cut all of this stuff out. The fillet knife bends so it can kind of bend around the curvature of the pumpkin. That's how you want it. Nice and clean. So now I need to tape this guy to where I want the front of my pumpkin to be. You wanna make sure the pumpkin's dry or else you're not gonna get tape to stick to it. Just kind of fold the paper so that it starts to, it can sort of wrap around the pumpkin. So now I've got this 
taped up to my pumpkin. I'm just gonna use a little poker, and I'm just gonna poke around and outline the pumpkin where I'm going to carve. Always try and start to cut one of the letters or anything you're doing at the most vulnerable spot. Don't wait to get in the cut there, because then it's going to probably break. So starting it wherever it's most vulnerable is a good place to start. We want to keep that. Another thing to keep in mind is it's really important to make straight lines. Otherwise, when you're cutting something as close as this with a little bit of stabilization in between the two letters, you might break this part and ruin the whole pumpkin. It's super easy to ruin it, so you gotta be careful. So like with a G, you wanna start inside of the curve of the G and then work your way outside or else that little piece in, the, in between the gaps of the letters is gonna be really hard to get. There you have it. Now you know how to do it. Create your design, print it out, carve it up, and you're gonna be the talk of the street. I'll leave a link to a public Google document with the template for this, or the printed Word document. If you wanna do this yourself, it'd be super cool if you did. Please let me know if you are and send me a photo. It's a great thing to do with the kids. It's a great family activity. Next episode, we get back into the recipes. Graveyard pudding. Happy all of me. Thanks for watching. Hope you didn't mind, no recipe today. This was a fun holiday sort of thing. Tune in next time, we're gonna make graveyard pudding. It's gonna be for Halloween, obviously, if you're having a Halloween party. And um, there's some merch available. New link down in the description box. Please go check it out. Let me know what you think of the designs. Let me know if you hate any. Just give me some feedback, would love it. That's all I have. See you next time, and until then, go feed yourself, okay?